After the wedding, the Little Mermaid wished the bridal couple joy, in spite of her breaking heart. Then everyone got back on the royal ship. There was laughing and dancing, and a party which reminded the Little Mermaid of the night she first met the prince. And though her heart was breaking, she danced for the prince and his bride. And she thought, After this evening, I will never see him again. I have given up my home and my family and my lovely voice for him. I had no idea it would happen. He would marry another as he has. Much later, the royal couple went arm in arm to their cabin. The ship became quiet. The little mermaid stood on deck, looking out at the sea. All at once, she saw her sisters rise to the surface of the water. Their hair was short, it had been cut off and given to the wizard in return for a sharp knife. Here, said the oldest sister, holding up the knife. Plunge this into the prince's heart before the sun rises. Do this, and you will not die. Instead, you will grow a fish's tail and become a mermaid again. Hurry, the sisters urged. The sky is already getting light. Then the mermaid sisters sank back into the water. The little mermaid went to the prince's bed and drew aside the curtains to kill him. I can't. I can't. And instead of killing him, she bent down and kissed him. She looked at the sky, already glowing pink. Then she looked at the knife in her hand. The little mermaid still loved the prince. She could not hurt him. Suddenly, she flung the knife far out into the ocean. And right after, she threw herself from the ship. Down, down into the sea she fell. And as she fell, she felt her body dissolving into sea foam. Yet, oddly, the little mermaid didn't feel dead. She felt the foam being gathered up and shaped into another form. To whom am I coming? she asked. Soft voices answered, to the daughters of the air. Although you did not win the love of a human man, you have suffered and been brave and unselfish. You have raised yourself into a world of the spirits of the air. We fly unseen and do good deeds. You will too. The little mermaid lifted her arms toward the sun. For the first time, she cried real tears. And for the last time, she saw the prince and his bride. They were on the deck of the ship, searching for her. The little mermaid blew them both a kiss, and then, with the other daughters of the air, soared off on a pink cloud to bring happiness to others, especially to little children. There's a magic world